the country. Grant and all of them have come from California. So we have people coming from all over the country for something we have waited a very long time for. I noticed your landmark dates. It's been 10 years. But again, welcome everybody. time coming. Thank you for the distances. Welcome everyone. Enjoy yourselves. face because I walked, I walked um, my freshman year, which is the story that I'm telling, um, <laughs> I was walking down, I was walking past our mail room at Fairfield and which is filled with, it's like a, it's a building filled with our cafeteria. So there, it's pretty much like a hallway and I'm walking down with like a straight face because that's, that's what I hide under and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm walking down and, and I hear a, hi. <laughs> and out of nowhere, I'm just like, who, I, like, I didn't have friends at that point, but I'm like, who is saying hi, that, that, that welcoming to me? And it was Corey. And <laughs> so that, that was one thing. That's a, that's a big thing. That was, that was something that I want to get across. Um, uh, I do have a bunch of cheesy jokes lined up. <laughs> so I should shave them? <laughs> okay. All right, I think I've gone over, but <laughs> um, um, so yeah, I guess if do we raise a glass for this or <laughs> yeah, if we could raise a glass, here's to Remy and Corey. Congratulations. <laughs> hey guys. Um, so unlike Derek, I wrote it out because I cannot wing things because I will ramble as well. So I have a nice little speech here. <laughs> I love you, Derek. We're best friends, it's fine. All right, so I have it written out. So, hi everyone. Again, thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate the newlyweds. For those of you who don't know me um, and I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I'm Corey's best friend and maid of honor, Tracy. Um, I just wanna take a moment before I dive in to thank uh, Lisa and John for hosting such a beautiful event. Look at this place, it's amazing, so thank you. It's a round of applause. <laughs> I'm shaking so much, I can't read my words, so let's see. All right, so um, Lisa and John, they're truly a wonderful couple. I know this better than most because I've actually known Corey for roughly 23 years now, which seems to both make the most sense and seem absolutely impossible because it seems like just yesterday that we met as little babies in our Girl Scout troop. <laughs> it was just fate that we would both move from New York to the same neighborhood in the same coastal main town, uh, 
it's the same coat to Tom. Even though we tried to convince people that we actually knew each other back in New York, <laughs> we did not, and we actually didn't become inseparable until you moved out of that neighborhood, which would have made our countless sleepovers um, to watching Grease and Big Daddy and belting out the Backstreet Boys that much easier and frequent, but unfortunately it didn't happen. However, we did survive with enough sleepovers, and we grew up being each other's closest confidants and constant companions until college took us to different states. I went to Massachusetts, and Corey went off to Connecticut, where she met the love of her life a quick three weeks in. <laughs> Apparently, it runs in the family. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but I knew pretty quickly that Remy was someone special based on the things that Corey would tell me and how her voice would change when she told me those things. Um, the assumption was proven true when I visited her second semester of freshman year and finally got to meet him in person. He was so easygoing, made her laugh, and he was so nice that he even tried to tell me that I was good at bowling when we went. Trust me, I'm horrible. So I immediately liked him, even if he was just trying to make a good impression on the, on the childhood best friend. I mean, anyone that can put up with Corey's unique love for her puffies is a keeper in my eyes. <laughs> Um, but in all seriousness, the spark between them, <laughs> in all seriousness, the spark between them that I witnessed during that first time at Fairfield so long ago has only continued to grow and strengthen over the past decade. I have truly enjoyed watching them evolve as a couple, and I cherish the time I get to spend with you, whether it's getting drenched in massive rainstorms, trying to see OAR perform in concert, soaking up the sun at Lake Cabo Sacanti, or celebrating New Year's Eve, and more importantly, Corey's birthday. Uh, by watching throwback music videos, I enjoy it all. You two just know how to have fun. And if I, their perpetually single best friend, can have any advice for such an awesome couple, it would be to never, ever stop having fun. Life gets harder, it gets tougher, busier, and remember to take that time to go on random date nights, watch each other's favorite movie for the hundredth time, or maybe, just maybe, find a new cheese for your wine and cheese spread nights. Um, but, <laughs> core. I love you so much, and I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Rem, I guess at this point I love you too. Um, <laughs> and know that there's no one else I'd rather share my best friend with. Um, I wish for this to be the first best day of your life. Sorry, I wish for this to be the first of many best days of your life. And for you two to continue having fun for the rest of forever. Now let's shut me up. Let's be honest. We've been waiting a long time, as John said. And let's keep this fantastic celebration going with a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Totten. Here's to Corey and Rebby. Congratulations. Thank you.
dreams that you dream of, dreams really do come true. and Remy, are you each walking to this marriage willfully? Yes. yes. Do you promise to be true to each other without conditions? Yes. yes. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold and support Corey and Remy in their marriage? Yes. 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 <laughs> cool. Remy, do you take Corey to be your friend and wife? I do. Do you vow to be hers in times of sickness and in health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow? I do. Will you continue to respect and cherish her uniqueness? I, I will. Do you promise to care and protect her, to comfort and encourage her, and to stay with her all the days of your lives? I do. Corey, do you take Remy to be your friend and husband? I do. Do you vow to be his in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow? I do. Will you continue to respect and cherish his uniqueness? I will. Do you promise to care and protect him, to comfort and encourage him, and to stay with him all the days of your life? I do. Now the rings. Bobby. <laughs> 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 Both of them. <laughs> I guess. Repeat after me. I, Remy, take you, Corey, to be my wife. I, Remy, take you, Corey, to be my wife. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh and to cry with you. To laugh and to cry with you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I give you this ring as a symbol of my unending love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my unending love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And offer you my heart forever. And offer you my heart forever. <laughs> Corey, repeat after me. I, Corey, take you, Remy, to be my husband. I, Corey, take you, Remy, to be my husband. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh and cry with you. To laugh and cry with you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I give you this ring as a symbol of my unending love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my unending love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And offer you my heart forever. And offer you my heart forever. Shouldn't have that. Remember that your individual accomplishments are the result of shared work. The person you choose to marry is your best friend. Mm -hmm. Have fun with each other and enjoy the time you spend together. Pass this on to your children and their children's children. The more things change, the more they are the same. As I am permitted by the state of Maine and through the sanctity of ordination 
I'm honored to proclaim and officially pronounce you husband and wife. May I introduce the new Mr. and Mrs. Totten. You may now share a kiss. <laughs> There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard No song that I could sing but I can try for your heart and Our dreams and they are made out of real things Like a shoebox of photographs with sepia tone loving Love is the answer at least for most of the questions of my heart Like why are we here and where do we go and knock come we so hard and It's not always easy and sometimes life can be deceiving I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together mm, It's always better when we're together Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Find their way into my dreams tonight But I know that they'll be gone When the morning light sings Or brings new things For tomorrow night you see That they'll be gone too Too many things I have to do But if all of these dreams Might find their way into my day-to-day -day scene I'd be under the impression I was somewhere in between With only two, just me and you Not so many things we got to do what places we got to be We'll sit beneath the mango tree now Yeah, it's always better when we're together Mmm, we're somewhere in between together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together Combination of words I could say, but I will still tell you one thing, we're better together.